everyone, welcome to my first attempt to make an air gun tuning video. I am by no means an expert in this and I don't claim to be so. So if you have any tips or tricks for me, please share them in the comments down below. The victim for this video will be my custom built FX Dreamline Tactical Compact that I have assembled in a previous video. I'll put the link up in the corner of the screen so you can check it out if you want to make one for yourself. The setup I have here started as a standard Dreamline Tactical Compact that I have upgraded with a thinner shroud barrel inside with a superior liner. I changed the transfer port to the Yuma Air High Flow Dual Hole Transfer Port. Wow, what a mouthful. I uh, modified my pellet probe to match the transfer port. We added the uh, Dreamline Tactical Power Plenum and a 300cc carbon fiber tank. The starting point for the tune that I want is fully wide open so I can show you the maximum amount of velocity and power she's producing and then I will work my way down to a more accurate and air efficient balance. This means that I'm starting with a rack pressure of 150 bar. The hammer spring completely maxed out by adjusting the screw in this. Then even this is a 22 caliber I opened the transfer port on the setting 2530. I want my tune to end up shooting the JSB Hades and the JSB 1589 grains somewhere in the region between 830 to 870 feet per second as I found it proved to me being very accurate with these velocities out to 75 meters. I did a video on the accuracy straight out of the box on the Dreamline Tactical Compact so you can also check that out if you're interested. This puppy is made as a pellet shooter and not really to shoot heavy ammunition with this short configuration barrel. That's why I prefer to put an accurate and air efficient tune on it to make it a compact hunting and plinking tool. Now enough talking, let's start tuning. As you can see she can make a decent amount of power especially with the 15 grains and the JSB Hades she's producing 900 feet per second what is pretty awesome for this short barrel but in my experience it's not the most accurate and air efficient tune remembering my most accurate velocities is about 830 to 870 feet per second we'll start using the power wheel bringing the hammer spring down and see what it takes to get us there You could see that max number 5 and number 4 there was barely a difference in velocity. So I know at these settings I'm wasting air and it's not the most efficient hammer spring setting for the pellet I want to shoot. It was only from setting number 3 to number 1 I was able to get the velocities from 830 to 870 that I'm looking for. It also learned me that these settings are the right amount of hammer spring to open the valve with the regulator at 150 bar to shoot the pellets that I want. Next thing I want to do is measure the hammer spring, bring my max setting down to this amount and we'll work from there. So we have dropped the hammer spring down so I know at its max setting she will shoot about 870 feet per second with the JSB Hades. Next thing I want to explore is to see thanks to the power plenum if we can drop down the regulator pressure and still achieve the same velocities. So we get more shots per fill. Let's degas it, drop the Laker regulator down to about 120 bar and see what we can get. Now before you degas your air gun please always make sure it's not cocked, there are no pellets in the breech, it's on safe, so you have a safe uh, air gun to work on. Next thing, undo the bottle. Okay. 
put it to the side. Now to bleed the remaining air from your regulator side, there are several different ways of doing this. The way I like to do it and never had any issues with it is insert your tool slightly counterclockwise till you start hissing it. Wait till everything bleeds out. Then I take my Allen key again, I turn it in, let's say a full turn, that should give us about 120 bar, I estimate. Take your bottle, put it back on. And as you can see now, we're just over 100 bar. Let's fill it up with air, go to the bench, see what the maximum velocity is with this hammer spring. So by dropping the regulator 40 bar down from its 150 bar previously with the same amount of hammer spring we're still achieving 820 feet per second with the JSB Hades. What's a very good result. So let's increase the regulator by 5 bar at a time and see how much we need to get to the velocities we want. Now as you can see I stopped increasing the regulator pressure at about 135-140 bar and she's shooting about uh, 865 feet per second. Uh, I'm recording this and I'm tuning my, my gun in my basement, it's uh, quite chilly here so I suspect when I go out and shoot it and the temperatures are a little bit higher she will shoot about 5 to 10 feet per second faster. Now I will still see if I can fine tune the hammer spring adjuster so I can balance everything out and uh, everything is nice in harmony. Let's go. So I was able to bring the hammer spring down half a turn to almost a full turn before uh, I start losing velocity again. So now I know that the hammer spring and the valve and the uh, regulator pressure are all working nicely in harmony and uh, it will give me the most effective and air efficient uh, tune. 
I will still do a full shot string to see how many shots I can get now on the 300cc carbon fiber tank and I'll come back to you. So as you can see in the short clip of the shot string, she's very, very consistent. Uh, I had an extreme spread of uh, 14 feet per second with a standard deviation of 2.8. This over a full shot string of 50 shots at 865 to 870 feet per second. What is very good for this little compact gun. I bet if you drop the velocities down to 830, you will still get almost an extra magazine out of it. What brings you to about 65 to 70 shots. Now, I hope you found this video helpful, you found it very interesting. If you have any tips or tricks for me, please leave them in the comment section down below. I thank you for watching, please like, subscribe and I'll see you back next time. Bye!